Hey guys, welcome back. You can never have too many of Asian chicken recipes and this one is a great all-rounder. The sweet, the sticky, the savory flavors along with the crunchy fried chicken ticks all the right boxes for me. It has a few steps involved but relatively easy. It's well worth the extra effort. This particular Asian chicken recipe I shall always remember very fondly because it kept my boys quiet at the dining table. So let's get cooking. We start by first cutting the chicken. I have got chicken breast here which I've cut into thin slices. If you prefer the leg piece that will be perfectly fine. Uh, but make sure you remove all the fat from that. Uh, add red chilli powder. Grate some ginger into the chicken. Dark soya sauce. I prefer to use dark soya sauce because it's a very nice rich color. Also because you're using soya sauce, it has a high quantity of salt. So you don't need to really season the chicken in this. Mix it all together. Then we move on to the vegetables. We start off with slicing the onions. Red onions finely sliced into a bowl. These are going to be used for a garnish eventually. So they need to be thin even slices. Ginger, peel the ginger, cut them into roundels and then into thin sticks or other julians. These will also be fried and will give a very nice uh, crisp texture to the dish when it's finally complete. Heat some oil in a pan and deep fry the ginger till it's light yellow or a very pale golden in color. Now the ginger also gets very crisp and gives a very nice mouth feel. Drain that off into an absorbent kitchen paper. Then we fry off the red onions. And again, fry the onions just enough till they are very light golden. Don't want to make it very brown because the dish overall is quite dark brown in color because of soya sauce. So light golden is just about perfect. So that's our fried ginger done and fried red onions done. So that's all done. Moving on to the main dish, we're going to spice it up with some chilies. So green chili and red chili. Uh, it's up to you if you want to take out the seeds or not. It's your choice entirely. If you like it spicy, you can keep it intact. Slice them very finely. Slice some red onion. Some spring onion. Reserve some for garnish at the end and around three cloves of garlic, very finely sliced and then chopped. Garlic gives a very nice, uh, rich, sweet kind of a flavor to it once you cook it. For the sauce, we first start off with some brown sugar in a bowl, a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar, a small quantity of water, approximately I would say two to three tablespoons of water should be more than enough apple cider vinegar you can use white vinegar if you like or even white wine vinegar the choice is yours dark soya sauce now again because using dark soya sauce it gives a nice rich color and you also don't need to season the sauce at all whisk it all together and this will form the base sauce for our asian spiced chicken now for the chicken this chicken is going to be uh, fried so we first start off by adding corn flour into the marinated chicken so that had soya sauce on that earlier. We also add a small quantity of egg white in that. Don't need to put the yolk, the yolk makes it very mushy. The egg white keeps it nice and crisp. Again, this is optional. You can actually skip the egg if you don't want to put it, but I prefer to have it all the time. Mix it together. You may need to add a small quantity of corn flour to get the batter right, but just make sure that you mix it well so there is no lumps of corn flour at all. It's a nice smooth kind of a pasty batter. Heat some oil in a pan and drop the marinated chicken breast to fry. Now because of the soya sauce and because of the egg white and the corn flour, the, it coats the chicken quite well. And what you get is very nice small strips of chicken which are crispy and they are 
light brown or dark golden in color and that's the kind of a color you want and the texture you want it needs to be crispy so when you actually eat it it tastes quite nice in a wok or a pan add the oil from the one which you use to fry the onion and the ginger a couple of uh, tablespoons and drop in your red chilies make sure the oil is at a medium heat and not too hot so red chilies and sliced green chilies goes in first then the sliced onions lightly sauté them into the oil to make them slightly soft you don't need to discolor them then goes in our chopped garlic now again chopped garlic you lightly sauté do not discolor this dish keep it as colorful as possible the color will all come through the dark soy sauce the vegetables have sweated down into the oil then goes in our sauce which was a brown uh, sugar the soy sauce and the apple cider vinegar that all goes in then goes in our crispy fried chicken and this is gently tossed together to thicken the sauce a little amount of corn flour slurry it's so basically water and corn flour mixed together around 3 teaspoons mixture should be more than enough now as soon as you put your corn flour slurry into the liquid it begins to thicken it so make sure you quickly stir it all together and the sauce begins to coat the chicken breast once done take it off the heat and transfer the chicken along with the vegetables into a bowl and pour in all the sauce over it our chicken is almost done and like i said look at the color the rich brown glossy color comes from the dark soy sauce and to contrast that on top garnish it with spring onion fried ginger and our deep fried red onion to give it a nice bite and the crispiness so there you have it our asian spice chicken